The figure illustrates the predefined generic data types supported by RBAP syntax. In addition to complete data types, RBAP also features a number of generic data types. In contrast to complete types, you cannot use generic types to define the properties of data objects. You only use generic types to type formal parameters and field symbols. Note, currently the two built-in types, type REF to object and type REF to data, are the only types available for typing reference variables generically. Most generic types, such as C-like, C-sequence, numeric, simple, and X-sequence, are available as of SAP Web AS 6.10. Generic type DEC float is available as of SAP NetWeaver 7.0 EHP2. The figure shows generic ARBOP data types, which are compatible with the set of ARBOP types. When you call a procedure, the system checks whether the type of the actual parameter is compatible with the type of the formal parameter. When you assign a generically typed field symbol, the syntax check tests whether the type of the data object is compatible with the generic type of the field symbol. The data type behaves in the same way as any. The differentiation is purely theoretical at this point. In the future, however, reference variables with type type REF to any to point data objects or instances of classes might be possible. The any table, index table, sorted table, and other types are special generic data types that are only compatible with internal tables. You can restrict them to internal tables with a specific table type. However, the line type and key definition remain open. In addition to these built-in generic table types, ABAP also contains generic table types that developers create as generic types. These generic table types are created either in the ABAP dictionary or in the program source code with the types statement. The figure shows an example of locally defined generic table types. In these generic table types, you define the line type but the table type and key definition remain open. To create appropriate generic types in the RBAP dictionary, check the corresponding options under Access and Key. Apart from the generic table types, there are no user-defined generic table types in RBAP. The syntax check ensures that the system passes only actual parameters with compatible types to generically typed formal parameters. When generically typed parameters are addressed in ABAP statements, wait until runtime to determine whether the type of underlying data object or its current content is logical in the respective operant position. If conflicts occur, the system raises runtime errors that are not caught in most cases. The figure shows an example. If you assign an internal table or a structure that is not flat and character type to a parameter, the right statement raises an uncatchable exception. Objects underscore not underscore C-H-A-R-C-O-N-V. The syntax check helps avoid such runtime errors, particularly in operant positions that only allow internal tables, such as select, into table, and loop at table. The syntax only accepts generic table types in these operant positions. Therefore, ensure that an internal table comes after the formal parameter. If you use the generic type simple, the right statement does not cause runtime errors. You can convert all data types that are compatible with simple to a character string. The syntax errors are corrected because parameter it underscore data now accepts only internal tables because of its type any table. Hint, a runtime error can still occur if the method contains an index access to it underscore data, specifically if the actual parameter is a hashed table.
Use the generic type index table to restrict the formal parameter even further. Field symbols are pointers that you assign to data objects dynamically. While using the field symbol in an ABAP statement, dynamically define the specific data object that the field symbol refers to. If the field symbol is fully typed, then all potential data objects have the same type, which restricts the possible uses of field symbols significantly. Generic typing enables the field symbol to refer to data objects with different types. As a result, you can address different data objects in the same operant position of an ABAP statement. The figure shows an example of how to use a field symbol in a dynamic select statement. To remove the restrictions of the data object's original type, use the casting addition to assign a data object to a field symbol. This field symbol has a different type. The data object is then interpreted as though it has the data type of the field symbol. To access the data object using the field symbol as if the object has an explicitly specified type, use the casting type addition. The casting type addition is used to assign a data object to a field symbol. This field symbol has a different type. In the finger, note that the system field is an elementary character type component of length 8. In most ABAP statements, do not replace data objects in operand positions directly with character type data objects in parentheses. Instead, use the assign statement for the data object to which you need to assign the field symbol. Use this approach to address the data object dynamically by its name. Assign a generically typed field symbol to the data object using the syntax shown in the figure and then use the field symbol in the ABAP statement. You can also use easier, less error-prone alternatives to access attributes and structure components. In addition to using the full identifier for dynamic access to attributes of classes and instance, use another variant to specify the attribute name solely with the character type data object. Specify the object reference and component selector statically. You can also specify the class name for static attributes dynamically if necessary. This syntax is similar to that for dynamic method calls. Hint, because the syntax check supports the static part of the statement, these variants are less error prone and are therefore preferred. Use a special variant of the assigned statement to access structure components dynamically. You specify the structure statically or through a separate field symbol in the assigned component of structure statement. Address the components either by name or by position or number within the structure. Because the syntax check supports the static part of the statement, these variants are less error prone and are therefore preferred. Because the system addresses the components of a structure by their positions in sequence, you can process any structure completely component by component. In the figure, an uncatchable assign underscore type underscore conflict runtime error occurs if the transferred structure contains a component that is incompatible with a generic simple type of the field symbols. Similarly, a runtime error occurs during the write statement when you type the field symbol with any.
you can type reference variables generically. However, in contrast to field symbols, only the generic types, data for data references, and object for object references are available for reference variables. To address the content of referenced data objects, use a fully typed data reference. The contents of the generic data reference are copied to the fully typed data reference. You can then dereference the complete data reference in any operant item. However, for this technique to work, the second reference variable needs to have the same type as the referenced data object. When you assign values between two reference variables with different types, you perform a cast assignment. It is similar to cast assignment between object references, which you learned about during object oriented programming. As with object references, an upcast occurs when the target variable has a more general definition, and a downcast occurs when the target variable has a more specific type than the source variable. Accordingly, assignment from a generic data reference to a full reference is a downcast. While upcasts to type type ref to data always work, the downcast must have the question mark and equal to cast operator to have proper syntax. The system checks compatibility at runtime in this case. Caution: If the type of the new reference variable does not match the exact type of the referenced data object, a runtime error occurs. Class cx underscore sy underscore move underscore cast underscore error is an exception. The only RBAP statement in which you can dereference a generic reference variable is the assign statement. The assign statement assigns a generic field symbol to the data object to which the generic reference variable points. You then address and further process the contents of the referenced object using this field symbol. As of SAP Web AS 6.10, ARBAP developers use a class-based concept, RTTI, to determine type properties, such as data types and object types, at runtime. Before RTTI, ARBAP contained only the describe field and describe table statements. However, these statements are limited to properties of data objects and do not determine as many properties as RTTI. RTTI consists of a hierarchy of 10 global classes that developers use. The description of a type at runtime is an instance of one of these global classes. The instance attributes save the properties of the type. You query them directly or by using appropriate methods. At runtime, only one description object exists for each type. All classes inherit properties from a shared superclass either directly or indirectly, and their names all follow the pattern CL underscore RBAP underscore XXX DESCR, where XXX stands for the category of the type used to describe the respective class. You need different classes because the attributes and methods of each class specialize to describe a specific category of types. 
For example, you use class CL underscore ABAP underscore table DESCR to describe table types. Therefore, the class contains attributes for the table category and the structure of the table key, among other information. These attributes are specific to class CL underscore ABAP underscore table DESCR. No other RTTI classes contain them. Do not instantiate the RTTI description classes directly with the create object statement. To retrieve a reference to a description object, call static method describe underscore by underscore xxx of class cl underscore abap underscore type descr. The description objects are generated and the data is filled and returned using a return parameter with generic type ref. To CL underscore ABAP underscore type DESCR. After the call, you need to cast a suitable subclass to access specific attributes and methods for the respective type. If you do not know which RTTI class was instantiated, Evaluate the public kind instance attribute whose contents match the value of one of the six constants from class CL underscore ABAP underscore type DESCR. Each of these six constants corresponds to one of the six RTTI classes that the developer can instantiate. If you know which description class is instantiated, then, the downcast can also take place directly in the call of the functional method. For example, LO underscore class question mark equal to CL underscore ABAP underscore type DESCR equal to greater than describe underscore by underscore dot dot dot. In this case, you can catch runtime error CX underscore SY underscore move underscore cast underscore error. The figure shows examples to use these static methods. In addition to static methods, you use special methods to navigate from one description object to other description objects. For example, you want to navigate from the description of a table type to the description of the corresponding line type, or you want to navigate from a structure type to the description objects for the component types. The application examples demonstrate how to use RTTI to determine the properties of different data types. Whether the system uses a given subclass depends on the data type. An instance of class CL underscore ABAP underscore ELEM DESCR describes all the properties of an elementary data type. The corresponding public attributes contain the technical properties of the underlying ABAP type, the length, and the number of decimal places. To evaluate the type underscore kind attribute, compare its contents with the corresponding constants from class CL underscore ABAP underscore type DESCR, as you must do to evaluate the kind attribute. The three attributes are described in the root class of RTTI, which means they are inherited by all description classes. 
However, in the other classes, these attributes are less significant. The semantic properties, that is, the additional information from the ABAP dictionary, must be determined explicitly using public methods. The figure shows a call of method get underscore DDIC underscore field. Use an optional parameter to determine language dependent information, such as field labels, in a language other than the current logon language. Caution if the current type is not a dictionary type, the method raises a conventional exception. To avoid this, use method is underscore ddic underscore type to check whether dictionary information is available. See the example given in the figure. When you analyze a reference type, that is, equals type of a reference variable, the inherited type underscore kind attribute allows you to differentiate between object references and data references. However, to determine the details of the static type of the reference variable, use the get underscore referenced underscore type navigation method. This method returns a reference to another description object. This description object can be an instance of class CL underscore ABAP underscore STR UCT DESCR if the reference variable was created with a structure type. However, if you create the reference variable with reference to a class or an interface, then get underscore referenced underscore type returns instances of the CL underscore ABAP underscore class DESCR or CL underscore ABAP underscore INTF DESCR class respectively. To gain full access to all properties of the component types, navigate to the respective description objects. The get underscore component underscore type navigation method returns the description object for the type of a specific component, while the get underscore components navigation method returns the description objects for all components. Hint, because component types are also reference types, structure types, or table types, define the return values with type ref to cl underscore rbub underscore data descr. A downcast to one of the subclasses may be necessary in reference variables. For example, to type ref to cl underscore rbub underscore elem descr. The public attributes of class CL underscore RBAP underscore table DESCR include the table types such as standard, sorted, hashed, index, any, uniqueness of the key, and a list of names of the key components. To determine the details for a line type, navigate to a description object for that line type, the get underscore table underscore line underscore type navigation method. Hint. The line type of a table type can have any data type. Accordingly, the return parameter is typed with ref to cl underscore rbap underscore data descr and performs a downcast to a suitable type if necessary. RTTI permits you to analyze the attributes of objects. Perform analysis by using classes CL underscore RBAP underscore class DESCR and CL underscore RBAP underscore INTF DESCR. Class CL underscore RBAP underscore class DESCR contains public attributes that list the attributes, methods, events, interfaces, and other objects of the described class. 
Internal tables in the system contain these public attributes. Some of these attributes, such as methods, are defined as nested internal tables in which each line itself contains one or more internal tables. For example, these nested internal tables contain lists with parameters and exceptions for the respective method. In addition to these inherited attributes, class CL underscore RBAP underscore class DESCR also provides specific attributes, such as the class underscore kind attribute, which you use to determine whether the class was flagged as abstract, final, and so on. The description classes for object types also provide navigation methods for determining the details of a used type. For example, the get underscore attribute underscore type method returns the description object for the type of a specific attribute, while get underscore method underscore parameter underscore type analyzes the type of a specific method parameter and so on. The get underscore super underscore class underscore type method is specific to classes. It returns the description object for the direct superclass, if any. The create object statement generates objects or specifically instances of classes at runtime. Define the type of object, that is the class to be instantiated implicitly through the static type of the reference variable used. Alternatively, use the type addition to specify the class to be instantiated in the create object statement. The last rule applies because the system carries out an implicit upcast if necessary when you specify the type explicitly. The syntax for specifying an explicit type can include a data object in parenthesis after type. This syntax enables dynamic selection of the class to be instantiated. If all potential classes have the same constructor signature, Provide the parameters with data statically. However, it is likely that the parameters and exceptions of the constructors will differ. In this case, you need to use dynamic parameter transfer. Like with dynamic method calls, perform dynamic parameter transfer using internal tables after the parameter table and exception table additions. Enter these tables and fill them as you do for method calls. You can also create data objects at runtime. The corresponding statement, create data, has a similar definition to that of the create object statement. The data object is not given a name, so it is often called an anonymous data object. To address the data object, dereference the reference variable at runtime. Use create data to define the type of the data object implicitly by using the type of the reference variable or explicitly by using the type addition. To use a number of variants that you are familiar with, use explicit typing. These variants can be from data declarations, such as the use of built-in types, the implicit construction of table types, and the reference to an existing data object with like. To define the data type for the generated data objects dynamically, use character type data objects in parentheses. If the system determines the data type dynamically, type the reference variable generically with type REF2Data. This is the only generic type that supports data references at present. You assign a field symbol to the references data object for the following reasons. 
You can only dereference the generic data reference in the assigned statement. You can use generically typed field symbols anywhere. Hint, if the new data object is an internal table and you want to use it in the corresponding operant positions, the field symbol must contain at least type any table. The figure shows an example of a dynamic database access in which the suitable data object is generated at runtime. RTTI enables you to describe data types and object types with instances of RTTI classes or type description objects. The RTTI concept was enhanced in SAP Web AS 6.40. In addition to describing existing types, you use it to generate new types. This enhanced function set is called Runtime Type Creation or RTTC. RTTC consists of a number of additional static methods in the RTTI description classes. The method signatures have been designed accordingly. While the get underscore i method does not need any other input, that is, type i is complete, method get underscore p has two import parameters defined, one for length and the other for the number of decimal places. The create method for reference types expects the pointer to the description object for the referenced type, while the create method for structure types expects a list with names and types of the components. When table types are generated, a reference to an RTTI object that describes the line type is expected among other things. The figure shows how to generate a table type dynamically with RTTC. You are required to specify only the P underscore line underscore type parameter for the create method. The parameter is of type REF to CL underscore RBAP underscore data DESCR and needs to be supplied with a reference to any description object for a data type. In the example shown in the figure, SPFLI is used as the line type. The describe underscore by underscore name method returns the matching description object. The optional parameters are used to define the table type and key. If you do not specify them, the system uses a standard table with a non-unique standard key. To dynamically create a data object with this specific type, use the dynamically generated type in the create data statement. Use the handle addition with the create data statement to generate a data object whose type matches the specified type description object. Specify the handle as a reference variable with static type CL underscore RBAP underscore data DESCR or one of its subclasses. The system may have created the object based on the existing data types by using RTTI methods or by dynamically defining a new data type.